the worst thing you can do is do nothing, like eat nothing, or eating eating less, quote unquote, because you're like, oh, I really, I really want, I really want to lose weight faster now. With the amount you're eating there right now, you should, you should keep eating that and eating more. Let me ask you, how would your life be different without any mental roadblocks? I want to quickly just touch base on the on the training and the nutrition. Have you have you eaten after the plan and eaten you know your your meals throughout the day and or, or what what happened there? Well, there's a good there's a good rule of thumb. You can never eat too many vegetables. You might you might you might feel full and there's a lot in your stomach, but but it's 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 so low in your calories. Vegetables, salads, and these sort of things is so is so low in your calories. This is why this is why when you're losing weight and when you you know, when you do it for a long period of time, like you want, you want quantity in your stomach. You want something that, that fills a lot in your stomach. So, so you, you kind of like, you, you feel full and that sort of thing there. So when you're eating that and you feel like full for lunch, that's good. That's good. Again, you got you got to remember here, the key is really just about building your body's metabolism and building your body strong. Because when you do that, right, you're lifting at the gym, you're getting, you're getting you're getting stronger at the gym in your deadlifts and in your squats and when you do different things you're getting stronger week for week you should almost have in your mind i almost want to feed my body with more food more food is good for me when i'm getting stronger with my body because when it's when it's done on a when it's done on a control level not just like mcdonald's and burgers and pasta all over the place the worst thing you can do is do nothing like eat nothing or eating eating less quote unquote because you're like, oh, I really want to lose weight faster now. With the amount you're eating there right now, you should you should keep eating that and eating more. So so if you're having that, you're having good lunch, you're having some salads, some meats, some salmons, and that sort of thing. Would you have some snacks in the afternoon? I want you to have some protein there. So the best, the easiest way for you would either be, um, I'm just gonna see, I know like, oh, glu glu gluten tolerance. I'm just gonna see if you're lactose. Now, yogurt, like YoPro or Chobani Fit, have a couple of cups and that in the fridge or a protein shake. Yeah, get some more protein powder or, you know, like these Chobani Fit, there's 15 grams of protein. It's so easy. I always just stock the fridge up because then I'm, when I'm sitting here and working, I can quickly just run out, open it up, teaspoon of, um, teaspoon of peanut butter in it and then eat it quickly. Exactly. If, if you don't want to do that, just do the protein then. Just do a protein shake with, um, with vegan protein. You, you have to think in your head, protein... I want you to burn that into your head. Protein equals fat loss. Protein equals fat loss. So if you, especially for girls, you want to tone up because you don't have heaps of weight to lose. You just want to tone up and become a little bit more fit in the, in the look. You know, you want you want you want you want you know a rich amount of protein with the amount with the amount of training you're doing there right now. Your muscles will love that. Your muscles will love that. And when your muscles love that, they start, they start, they start working, they start developing, and they start burning fat for you. I would, you know, you got, you got your chocolate, rice cakes, protein shake. You got, we can put your yogurt in there as well. Yogurt is really good for your cravings, um, like a sweet yogurt, blueberry yogurt, or something with some nuts and some fruit. That's really good for the sweet stuff. We can put muffins in there. We can put chocolate in there. You know, like, like, we can put anything in there. Well, it's, it's a little bit like what you and I we talked about. Uh, I think it was two calls ago where you like in your head you just like you just make the agreement it's almost like it becomes a habit in itself that you're making the agreement with yourself of like okay i might i might crave something now and it's tuesday but i'm like i'm i'm, I'm getting rich food you know what i mean like I'm, I'm i can have protein pancakes i can have my chocolate my nuts my yogurt fill up with good lunches and dinners like the craving i have in my head right now is just it's just like in my head Right. So, so making the agreement with yourself of like, okay, I'm just going to be good because you're still getting delicious, yummy food. So when sometimes you take a piece of dark chocolate and stuff like that's already there, you, you already got that sweet, sweet sort of thing taken from you. But then what happens is like you get into the habit of doing that. You just like it becomes natural for you not to blow out during the week. Like I have ice cream. I will have cookies. I will have a pizza or something, you know, but I always try to keep it keep it at a certain time during the week. And this is not about restricting yourself and being super disciplined. No, it's simply just about developing these good habits. 
of, of you taking control over the way you're thinking and not give in to, to, to every little crave and every little thought we have. Yeah, this, yeah, it's, exactly. Like, there's so many different ways you can trigger that because oftentimes when we want something naughty, like we just gotta, we just gonna kind of wear it off or have something else that stimulates our appetite, and then it will, and then it will disappear.